Welcome to this film about how we can use mechanical toys to help the children get a better understanding of biological concepts. For instance, we could use this bird. The jelly bird? Yes, exactly. So, so, what, what, uh, so what kind of benefits do we have of exploring this, this automata instead of going out in the nature? Yeah, I would absolutely recommend going out in the nature and study wildlife in the real habitat. But mm -hmm. when working with this, constructing it, I think the children will naturally focus on the different parts. They will focus on the wings, on the beak, on the tail, on the legs, and so on. Mm -hmm. And while we are doing that, we can talk about these parts and why they look like they do, why, what they are used for and why a bird is a bird. Things like that. Mm. And then we can go out. Now we are going to talk about how we can use these uh, toys to talk about how animals are adapted to the environment they live in. So this, uh, what would you say this is? Well, I think uh, maybe Many of the children would say that it uh, is a bird, but maybe someone would say it's a fish or something. Okay. Then we could say, well, it got wings. Oh, so this also could be a bat or an insect then? Yeah, bats and insects got wings, but I don't think it looks like that. Maybe because it's got a beak, yeah. birds got a beak, uh, they got feathers, we can't tell from this particular toy but maybe we could put feathers on if the children thinks that is something that it needed is needed to make it a bird okay so so uh, playing with this automata you can actually talk about uh, different kind of birds and yeah yes and this is quite a general scheme of a bird but uh, you have made some other birds yeah um made this one because uh, yeah, maybe you can tell uh, tell me, you can guess what kind of bird you think this is and yes, why. That is simple to me because I think it looks like an eagle. And why is it an eagle? We you tell me. If you look at the feet, it's got claws, sharp pointy claws to catch a prey. For example, if it's uh, catching a slippery fish in the water, it could dive down, grab it and be able to hold it. And the beak is very pointy and sharp, so it can use it to tear meat out of a dead rabbit or something like that. So this is a bird of prey. I would maybe call it an eagle. Yeah. And what about this one? This has a totally a, a, a different kind of beak. Yeah. So And wings. And feet. So it has probably a different lifestyle. The the feet are the most uh, characteristic maybe if we, we can have a closer look at the feet. Uh, they are wide like the feet of a scuba diver. So what kind of birds have those feet? Birds that need to swim. Like? Like a duck. Ah. Like, like Donald Duck? Exactly, mm -hmm. like Donald Duck. He's got feet like that. And mm -hmm. a beak like this. Yeah. Some ducks live uh, uh, of uh, plant material. They have got a flat and wide beak, like this one. So I think this is a swimming duck that is feeding on plant. Some ducks eat fish, and they got a beak that is a little bit more similar to the eagle because they are catching prey. Okay. So by when we are making this, we know that it's adapted to a lifestyle in the water. Okay. And this one, this has a totally different kind of beak and the feet yeah. are so much longer and yeah. Can you tell me about what kind of bird this could be? It's a bird that uh, lives in shallow water, I think. It mm. walks around in the water on its long legs, so it doesn't have to float uh, necessarily but it can stand still and then it uses its long beak to catch prey that are swimming around in the shallow water okay. close to it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So this is a wading bird. 
with a different kind of feet, different kind of beat, yeah. beak, uh, showing a little bit about the lifestyle of this bird. So with this, with this jelly, jelly bird, you can explore a lot of different birds. Uh, exactly. But I think uh, the most fantastic with it is just you can use your imagination and create your own kind of birds and, and you can go further on and you can create like this one. You have created a human being. Or yes. Is it? Why? Well, has it got wings? No, it got, it's got arms. Waving with its arms. So it's not, a, we can see that it's not a bird because it's, and of course the face is very human. So, but the, princi this, the uh, principle is the same. Yes, it's a different way of using the same mechanism. And uh, that's that's the beauty with this that you can actually you can just use your imagination and create all kind of species. Yes, actually, and when we have been outdoors looking at, for instance, birds, we can go indoors and make. If we saw a crow, we could yeah. try to make that one. Yeah. Or something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we are going to look further into uh, different uh, adaptations to the lifestyle of some animals. For instance, there is a crocodile lurking in the water waiting for its prey. What happens? But it is a crocodile? Yeah, I think so. Why? Uh, Why do you think so? Well, it could slightly remind of a snake, but it got a lot of sharp pointy teeth that I think looks like a crocodile. And the crocodile used these teeth to catch prey. Mm. It got, it's got the predator pe uh, teeth. Mm -hmm. And we can see by the shape of teeth that what kind of food it eats. I don't know if uh, crocodiles can eat a little bit uh, of plant material, but surely it can't chew them into something very digestible. But maybe some other animals can do that. Yeah. yeah. This one. So what's oh, I can see what that is. What's that? That is animal with a with tusks and a trunk, it must be an elephant. And what does the elephant eat? It eats plant material. As plant can material. See. Nom nom nom. Okay. And it may be a little bit difficult to see, but the elephant has got flat uh, teeth that are well suited to crush the plant material, so it's easy to digest it. And by looking at the teeth, we can see on all animals, more or less, what kind of food they are eating. And we can also see this in uh, other animals like uh, dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs are meat eaters like this uh, Tyrannosaurus rex. Uh, but some dinosaurs live from plant material and they got teeth more or less like an elephant has oh, okay. or a cow or a horse. Yeah. Um, and when we're doing this with the children, we do the same as with the jelly bird. Yeah. We're we exploring and talk, talk about, about the it. teeth. Oh, they're pointy. What do they eat? What is good crocodile food? Uh, where does the crocodile live? Yeah. And so on. And then the children can start. They can maybe use their imagina imagination and create their exactly. own crocodiles and yeah. Yes. Where does this fantasy crocodile live and what does it like to eat and so on? So so, so pink crocodile doesn't exist. I don't think so. Okay. Not until now. Well. 